Alright. So we're gonna be doing some going rogue here. We'll start a new game. We'll be on the going rogue difficulty, which is the hardest, because losing is fun. Um, we're gonna have permadeath off. No time to grind on, because that makes things a lot faster. And Realm of the Diggle Gods off. So we're going to be using Promethean Magic, which allows us to summon dragons and just set all the things on fire. Uh, this is essential for the speed run. It makes everything just dramatically faster. Any build without this is going to take much, much longer. Magical Law and Golomancy are needed to kind of lock down Dreadmore before he just, like, insta-kills us. Uh, as soon as we encounter him, we'd have to level a lot higher to be able to take him down without these. Uh, we'd probably need, like, more magical items and that sort of thing, just to protect ourselves more hit points, that sort of thing. Blood Mage and Laywalker are for mana regeneration. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of mana to power our Promethean Magic. Uh, math Magic, not as important. Um, this is basically just a sort of a flexible slot in this run. I could use Magic Training or some other Magic ability. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's a teleportation skill here that I occasionally use, uh, which is helpful for, uh, you know, getting around walls and sort of things. Uh, Killer Vegan, uh, is more defensive, uh, gives us a little extra hit points later in the game, and animals don't attack us, which... Uh, can make things a little easier, especially on certain floors. Pick the female hero. Uh, this will be uh, an incentive in Power Up with Pride. Pick uh, the gender and name. I'm going to put in Rogue for the name. And I'm going to get started here. Three, two, one, go. Click through the prologue there, uh, pick up the speed a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna just use magic to take out the diggle. Uh, I have to use magic to deal with animals uh, because I'm vegan and I get a debuff if I attack animals directly. Uh, let me see if I can kind of line these two up. Uh, hit them with magic at the same time. They don't seem to want to cooperate. Uh, anything up here? Okay. These I can. which restores health and mana, so that's very valuable. So it's a little tricky here because I need to... I need to kill things to get experience. And I don't want to use, like, a ton of mana. Because I'm on going rogue, and you have really poor mana regeneration in going rogue. That book's not really useful at all, but I have nothing equipped right now, so I'll just throw it on. Heroic Vandalism is really good for getting experience, uh, especially on this first floor where killing things is awkward. Okay, 
you see right now, I'm low on mana. Um, drink some booze. And pretty close to the level up. And yeah, there it is. Heroic Vandalism coming in the clutch. Uh, we're going to summon a dragon. It's basically the whole idea is on the first floor, I just want to get enough experience to be able to summon a dragon. And then these later floors, like summon, summoning the dragon is our entire offense until we get later on. Like you, even later on, the dragon's still doing a lot of a lot of our damage. But later on, we'll be using like direct fire magic more, especially against uh, Lord Dreadmore himself. So that's the Baron. Uh, the Baron will give us a magic item, which we can use to boost our magic power, and. That's important, though we will be getting a better hat later on, so I don't go out of my way to get the, um, the Baron hat. I usually just go out of my way on the 8th floor to pick up the Crown of Yellow instead, because that's a lot better. Okay, there's some stairs down. Just eat some tofu. Save. And go down. We'll summon our dragon and take out anything around here. These first few floors, I'm not going to try to do any grinding if I don't have to. Uh, I'm mainly concerned with getting down to later floors, but eventually I will have to grind because um, I need to level up a bit before I can take on Dreadmore and some of the other stuff in later floors. up. Uh, Gog's Tactical Pyre is the kind of most important damage spell other than the dragon, because uh, we use that against Dreadmore, and we also use it to just build stuff faster. Uh, later on, the dragon isn't quite enough by itself. So we'll eat something to regain our health, and I'll save before I go downstairs here. Dragon. Dragon. Sometimes the dragon just wanders off and attacks the, the wrong enemy. You want the dragon to be in, like, in the right place to protect you. Drink a little more booze here, and dragon can take these things out. Uh, again, dragon not being super cooperative. Alright, I'm going to teleport, and that helped. Life force is running out. 
got attacked by an invisible enemy there. Um, awkward. Sometimes invisible enemies, you just can't do anything about them. Um, that actually kind of helped me because I just got a... I just rolled a more favorable floor that way. Dragon once again, just like not. The dragon sometimes doesn't understand that part of its role is to tank. Like we want the dragon to be positioned so that we don't get attacked and we don't die like we did earlier there. Like the enemies will attack the dragon instead of attacking us. But the dragon has to not wander off away from them. Or else that whole strategy doesn't work. We can only summon one dragon at a time, so. Like, I hate having to resummon the dragon, but sometimes you have to because dying is never optimal. Well, usually. Teleport. Okay. I try not to teleport because it's random and sometimes you can teleport to a worse position than you were in before. But sometimes it's just the most straightforward way out of the predicament. Trapper's tool belt is nice to have. Uh, anything that helps us with traps is kind of nice. Uh, invisible shield, sure. That's like nothing special, but it gives us a little defense and a little stealth. Uh, do I have any, like, work I can eat here? Skip those gloves. And we have a monster zoo. So for monster zoo, the strategy is to stick a dragon by the door and just shut the door. Let the dragon do stuff. So the dragon's not gonna be able to, like, single-handedly take out a monster zoo at this level. I'm gonna have to teleport. I really don't like teleporting around monster zoos, because it can either teleport you away from the monster zoo, and that's great, or it can teleport you into the monster zoo, and then that's really up the dragon here. In a pretty safe position here. Uh, need to just shut the door and drink up. Should be remembering to use a Thaumaturg's tap. Yeah, Thaumaturg. My mana for free rather than wasting alcohol. We drink a lot of alcohol in this run because we need to regenerate our mana.
this is... Okay, this is fine. Uh, so I need more mana. So I'll drink this frog. Um, might need to teleport again. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna have to walk walk over this way. Okay. Uh, if I put my dragon here... Um... <laughs> drink the mana potion. Dragon here. And... Eat some dough. And I leveled up, which... Leveling up regains your health and mana. So, that gets us out of that situation. And I think my dragon is dead. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this here. Unfortunately, this is a fairly slow monster zoo. But generally, it's fine to do one monster zoo uh, just to grind up some levels. Actually running out of alcohol because I'm once again not using Thaumaturgy Tap. Uh, I have some mana, so I'll throw some fire around. Try and speed things up a little bit. Alright. Thirty-nine monsters in this zoo. I'm gonna need to regain some mana. Once again, I'm fortunately pretty low on alcohol now. Cap. Just running around for a 
second. Okay, level up. Need two more levels. left. They're all over here. And that's it. Okay, I got a ring. Uh, it's a useful ring. Ah, uh, it Regenerates mana, so yes, it's actually we actually got a good item out of a monster too, which is kind of rare. Um, got some good loot there actually. Three Azure Mob bonnets. That's unusual. All right. Especially after finding a monster zoo, uh, I'm more than willing to. Your life force is running out. Can I teleport? Or am I just gonna die? Kind of running out of food here. Should be fine on mana, but food might be a little scarce. don't need to use alcohol at all at this point, so I can just spam that. Um, OK, 
okay, this robe is what I want, and I'm willing to sell some stuff to get it. much good to sell. Staff is fantastic. It's exactly the sort of thing I was hoping to find. Um, I'm also hoping to find a down staircase. That would really be good. Especially since I'm behind on time now. But the good part is I don't have to grind much. Like, I'm pretty much ready to go. Take things out here, clear up some space. That's cheap experience there. It's really not looking for enemies here. I'm not not in grind mode at all. just need to get out of this whatever okay drag it here door
Okay, so that took forever. But hopefully floor seven won't take forever. Would be nice. Um, okay. I'm just gonna chill and eat here. grind spot. But in this case, I already did a lot of my grinding. Yeah, in fact, I've done all of the necessary grinding, so I'm just looking to get downstairs now. Like, I'll hit these statues on the way. Love me some hor heroic vandals. And I will pick up uh, that pan galactic garlic gargle blaster. I'll pick up just a little bit more booze here, but. Yeah, no. I'm... I would like another magic item, but I can get by without one, I think. I thought it was going to save. Uh, I'm just... I just basically took an intentional death there uh, in the hopes of rolling a better floor here. So, floor 9 is, tends to be really awkward because uh, these enemies are, like, all fire-type. So they fire magic just doesn't do anything against them. Okay. So I can summon my dragon there.
So I got a couple artifacts. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, this is... That gives me some extra magic. Uh, the dual, we dual wielding penalty shouldn't matter too much because I'm not really trying to attack things like that. So, I'm going to try stepping on these displacement glyphs, and that's why I did that. Um, so, I'm just hoping to find stairs. Pick up whatever's here. what that lever does, and I'm just going to leave it be. Okay, I'll just level up vegan, because that gives me some extra health. Offense should be good enough, so I just want to make sure I can survive. I just walked through fire. That wasn't very smart. on the Dreadmore hunt. So, this could be a big world record if I find Dreadmore really fast, or it could take forever and it's not even a PB. Uh, that's just kind of how this game goes. Last floor can just be in this game. 
the enemies are really tough, and a lot of them are invisible, and there are just a lot of them, and it's especially noticeable when you're on the road difficulty. Come out of this jam now. Still got a gin fizz over here. And still have to watch out for any more invisible enemies that might be around. Um, drink this potion of stealing here. my mana, but my magic power. Okay, there's an enemy here, but that should be easy enough to take out. Yet another gin fizz. There's just so many gin fizz. I kind 
I just have to hope I don't blink into a really bad spot. <laughs> Dragon there. Get some more mana. Critical hits. Critical hits. Go ahead and save. Wait out this link curse here. Again. Uh, let's see. Some alcohol. Take that omelet. Uh, I don't want to eat the omelet because um, I would get the vegan debuff, but if for some reason I just need to eat food to regain health, then I would eat the omelet because it's uh, the best food you can eat in the game. I don't think I'll need it though. I just kind of pick it up instinctively. things up because I regain my health and mana. Sure. None of this is very important. I'm just looking for Dreadmore. why I said, like, this very well might just, like, not be a PB, because you can just, like, not find Dreadmore, like, all over this floor. We 
did find Dreadmore. Alright, uh, I'm going to save. And I'm going to find Gag Order and Unliving Wall. And... Start out with Gag Order on Dreadmore. I don't need Unliving Wall yet. I need to get this Jin Fizz out of the way. Okay, so... Unliving Wall here. And Dreadmoor is now locked down. These are peaceful. So, I can wait on actually doing anything about the gym fizz there. Um, I do want to just make sure that I'm regenerating my mana. I can actually put a wall here, uh, just to make sure that Jin Fizz kind of stays away. Gag order on Dreadmore. Fire on him. Uh, use this potion. Punish these walls. Uh, I'll put my dragon over here, uh, just to ensure nothing happens here. But again, I can just put up walls. Like that's totally fine. Um, sure, drink more potions. Use more tap. I have to make sure I keep this gag order up. If I let that gag order down for a couple of turns, then Dreadmore can just quickly one-shot me. So I have to keep an eye on that. But as long as I pay attention here, I have one locked down. And that's world record, and that's the first sub hour. Cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how much I've been able to bring this run down. Uh, looking forward to running it at Power Up with Pride tomorrow. That's it. Thanks for watching.